What's going on everybody? David here from Blucher's Videos and Collectibles and today I got a brand new video for y'all and this time it is on a Jurassic World Dino Rivals Series 2 Dual Attack Pteranodon. Um, this one in my area I've only seen once and I bought this when I saw it and I had to kind of, it was one of my random stops that I usually take on the way to work um, because I work like about an hour away from where I live and there's like a dozen or so Walmarts you know that I can stop by on the way in from work <clears throat> so periodically I'll find odds and ends that, that I'm looking for my collection but very seldom would I ever find anything um, when it comes to like some of the later waves and this was one of them and like I said I've only seen this once and lucky enough I was able to snag it and I hadn't seen it since and I've had this for a while now I'm just now getting to review it and um, so yeah um, you know the routine we'll just go over the packaging real quick you know and take a look at the figures I still haven't found my tape measure I don't know where that thing is that's probably why I haven't even uh, done any measurements for a while now because I don't know where that tape measure is or maybe I just hadn't looked at it or looked for it good enough. <clears throat> it's here somewhere. I just don't know where. Um, probably under a pile of junk that I got in my toy room, but well, it is what it is. I'll find it one day. Anyways, we got some size comparisons and uh, we'll do a uh, Dino Rivals collection update. Okay, so... You know this is the standard Dino Rivals package when you got the Jurassic World, the clean logo on the uh, top left hand corner and then uh, at the bottom we got T-Rex in the middle, we got Dino Rivals and then we got the uh, Triceratops and the Unwanted Owen and then we got Dual Attack, Pteranodon, ages 4 and up, that's me and then the, the basic colors for this packaging is, you know, kind of reminisce of the old Kenner packaging with the uh, with the black, the faded in orange and reddish and yellow. Um, it's grown on me for a while. I never did, didn't like it at first, but after actually uh, doing more reviews and then um, the more it just kind of reminds me of the old uh, Kenner uh, JP uh, packaging. <clears throat> so uh, then we got the T-Rex the logo right there. And then we have the two, um, Pictures right there to let you know that this is a dual attack. You got one that uh, that uh, pecks at you when you press the button, and then you have the wing flapping button. And um, here is the bottom of the packaging, and we got the Universal uh, Ambulance logos and all this copyright stuff. And we got it contains one dinosaur, one card, and then we got the Mattel logo. And just in case if you're still trying to hunt for this thing, here's the UPC. So you may pause the video and take a picture of it or whatever it is. So that way you can uh, see if you can find it in your area. But like I said, I, I hadn't found it anywhere else <laughs> except that one time. And so here's the side of the packaging. The Dino Rivals logo right there. Jurassic World logo right there. And on the back of the box... <clears throat> uh, on the top it says dual attack Jurassic World logo right there and then over here it says uh, contains one card and then there is the card right there and then here is the other two that are in this uh, assortment with the Triceratops and the Concavenator or as uh, others pronounce it as a Con Convenator, um, my boy Nick Holstetter, he's the one that, uh, the one that first pronounced, uh, pronunciation of this, uh, particular dinosaur. I don't know if it's the actual correction, but, um, it's cool nonetheless. Anyways, um, so this is the three that come in, uh, wave two, and the Pteranodon being the newest one. And so here is the, uh, prototype, and... Uh, got to turn it on, the chomping action, and the wing strike. I call it the pecking action. <laughs> uh, the 
do, right? They peck at you, I guess. And there is the example with the Pteranodon and uh, Concombinator or Concavenator, however you want to pronounce it. No rhyme or reason, you know. But, uh, the, yeah, you can tell this big old tear right there. Um, I knew it was bad packaging. I don't care because, you know, with all my Jurassic World stuff, I open them, you know. So, let's go ahead and take a couple of seconds to go ahead and cut those ties and then we'll take a closer look. And so, as I was taking the uh, card out, you could tell that there's a they taped it all clean across. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen this happen, but normally they would tape it, like, on the top or in the bottom, or sometimes maybe the sides, give or take. But I've never seen the tape go across a card like this. <laughs> all right, give me a couple of seconds. Hopefully I can get this tape off without it uh, tearing. Okay, so that came off pretty easy, so surprisingly, because... I've seen other reviews when people have just tried to uh, take this thing off and it, it would tear or bend the card or just leave sticky residue. So I got lucky with that one. But anyways, here's the uh, card and um, love the artwork as usual. And then um, here we have the strength. This is five, the speed at seven, brains for uh, five. And the aggression is at a 5. So overall, 22. So not bad. It's pretty much an average uh, a dinosaur or pterosaur, should I say. And then we get the standard uh, Dino Rivals Jurassic World uh, <clears throat> card back. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, turn it on. Alright, so here it is when it comes out of the package. The wings are all folded in. So... What we got to do is just go ahead and unfold them. And uh, right off the bat, I do like this color. Um, it's got a, like the wings are kind of like a golden brown color right there. And then we got the dark brown uh, for the body. So it's just basically just plain one solid color uh, on the top. And then all the way around on the arms. Or the, yeah, the arms and the hands and on top of the wings and um, at the bottom it's just one solid color so here is the fax app if y'all need this um, let me go ahead and see if I can get a good clear shot so there y'all go and um, <clears throat> the only extra paint that they actually have um, it would be nice if they would have done this as well at the uh, bottom too so, and there's the Jurassic World logo. It would have been nice if they had uh, got this golden brown color at the bottom as well. But uh, that's what happens when you cut corners and try to save a little bit of money. Um, but overall, um, I really do like it. Here is the head piece right there. Uh, can't really see the eyes that well. But, sorry, my lighting's not very good. <clears throat> but if you could tell the eye is right there on point and right there right there on point as well so and the only other paint apps that they got is just a little bit of yellow that's just kind of on top of the crest end on its beak right here so nice little touch right there so, it is chipped right there a little bit. I don't know if I did that or if it just came like that. But, uh, overall, you know, it's got teeth, and we all know that pteranodons don't have teeth. So, it's got a nice little wet tongue right there. So, solid color overall. You know, like I said, I really like this color. Um, I just wish that this, the uh, golden brown color, would, would it was at the bottom. But, hey, what can you do, right? <clears throat> So, as far as the action features, so here we got two buttons. So, it's I liked how it's incorporated where it's kind of like not so noticeable. But, as you can tell, you can see that there's an outline there. Mo most of these uh, action features, they, they do a pretty good job of covering up 
not so noticeable, but some of them not so well. So we have the first uh, action feature, which is the wing flapping action. And then the second action feature we have is the, uh, so since there is a demonstration on the back of the box, Let's go ahead and bring out our concavenator so we can see if this pteranodon can size up to it. Uh, don't mind me. I don't think dinosaurs really sound like that. But anyways. But yeah. Um, and I don't think it would be able to pick it up or anything. But. Uh, let me know in the comments below who you think would win. Concavenator or the Pteranodon. Okay, so as far as size comparison goes, it's just the exact same size as the uh, Series 2 uh, Fallen Kingdom Roarvores Pteranodon. So, pretty much the same size. At first I thought this was a little bit bigger, but it, it's not. It's the same size. Uh, and here we have the uh, Battle Damage Pteranodon. So, right there. And here is the Kenner Jurassic Park Pteranodon from 1993, Series 1. And here he is with Owen. Now, this is pretty much an oversized pteranodon. Normally, pteranodons are pretty much, I think I want to say this size. So, but there is our pterodactyls and all that kind of stuff. So, so I'm going to have Owen right here. Oop, well, that was a fail. So. <laughs> All right, and then for our collection update, we have uh, the Battle Pack Series 1 and 2, and we have the Protoceratops, um, the Dracorex, the Ramphorhynchus, and we have, uh, I can't remember his name, uh, I can't even think. Uh, Velociraptor. Um, ah, man. I'm having a fart bubble right now. Anyways, we got uh, one of the raptors from the uh, raptor packs. Not Charlie, but um, uh, Echo. What is... I uh, can't even think of it. But anyway, then we got Series 2 with the uh, green Herrerasaurus and the Chalorus. And um, uh, I still can't even think of... Uh, Delta, yes, Velociraptor Delta. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next set. And for the Stavis Strike line, we have the Styracosaurus and a Monolophosaurus from series or Wave One, and then for Wave Two, we have uh, the Dimetrodon and the Tapajara. And for the dual attacks, we got the Paraceralophus or Paraceralophus. Or Parasaurolophus, or however you want to pronounce it. Then the Triceratops and the Concavenator, or the Conconvenator, however you want to pronounce that as well. And then for the uh, Dino Damage line, we have the Albertosaurus. And I hope y'all enjoyed this review, and I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I uh, enjoyed filming it. And, um, if you haven't subscribed already, please give this channel a sub, like the video, comment down below what you think of this uh, dual attack pteranodon, and uh, what's your favorite part of the Dino Rivals collection that uh, I reviewed so far. 
um, that I've shown. Uh, I've got tons more. There's be more videos, and and the dinosaurs keep on coming. And um, uh, most of these, uh, most of or half the reviews that I haven't got to yet, uh, I'm probably going to bunch them all in one bunch because uh, they're pretty much uh, repaints, you know. So there's no point of having to do an individual review. And with those, I'll just do it all in one shot. We'll just do a comparison paint job and so forth with, with the, the originals because, like I said, I've already reviewed half of these um, before because they're, some of this stuff is pretty much repaint. But anyways, um, <clears throat> don't forget to hit the notification bell so you receive all my uploads. And where's the wisdom? Buy what you love and not what you like. Because if you buy what you like, you always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.